Hey guys, so today I went to like multiple uh, thrift stores and other retail stores today. I'm only going to show the thrift store finds today. I got 22 titles here between five stores. So let's just start with the first one today. So uh, I went to get my haircut today and there's a thrift store right next to the haircut place I go to. So I end up leaving, they usually don't have a lot in there. They actually had a few things today, so I already have this on Blu-ray. I think I got this from my brother more than myself. This is a Criterion DVD of the original version of The Vanishing from 1988. This is, I believe, this is a French film, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, French film with English subtitles. And there's also an American, uh, like an uh, English version of it as well. Same director. Uh, I have both in my collection, but this is a really good movie. So I definitely recommend everyone check this one out if they haven't already. Um, came complete with the booklet and, of course, the DVD. Remember it being in you know, pretty decent shape. A couple of fingerprints, but that's about it. So that was a dollar good find and then they had all five seasons of this show plus the special I already have seasons one through three so I didn't need those which is fine because they weren't in the best shape but I found uh, complete series four series five and the special of absolutely fabulous aka abfab really funny uh, sitcom from like the I think it was the late the 90s and into the 2000s uh, yeah, so it's just ridiculously funny um, if you like that kind of humor. Uh, but yeah, so we got Abfab season series. I'm sorry, series four, <clears throat> series five with the with the slip cover, and then the um, special. So thought that was a pretty cool find for for all. Actually, the they had all of them, but like I said, I already had. One, two, and three. So that was it for the first thrift store. So I went to another location further away. Um, they actually didn't have quite a lot in this this particular location. Usually they don't. But I left with um, three titles here. One Blu-ray, which was very odd to find at this thrift store because they never have horror Blu-rays. Blu-rays in general, but definitely horror Blu-rays. This is an Epic Pictures release of a film called Dry Blood. But that was an interesting find. Uh, I haven't heard anything about this film, so let me know in the comments if you've seen this. I don't recognize anybody in this film. Maybe Clint Carney, but I don't know. That might be a different person I'm thinking of. This is a psychological thriller, so can't wait to check that out. Um, I picked up uh, uh, Volume 2. Uh, yesterday, so I went ahead and picked up volume one of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I uh, believe this was also a dollar. I got that one for 50 cents, but uh, I don't know if this had a particular insert or not. I don't think it did, but the discs were both mint, so thought that was a cool pickup. And then this is a DVD CD set with a booklet inside of a band that I, I grew up listening to in high school. So this is a perfect circle, um, Emotion. Uh, the DVD has nine uh, different uh, songs on it, including videos and live versions. And then the, there's a director's cut of something called The Outsider, which I think is a, I think that's a, yeah, that's a, that's a music video of theirs. Um, Blue, which is another song of theirs. Uh, different other bonus features and then the CD has nine tracks on it they're all remixes so uh, let me know if you guys liked a perfect circle but like I said it comes with the booklet and then the CD and the DVD they're all minty so like that okay so I went to two Goodwells and a Salvation Army I'm gonna go to the Salvation Army first, even though I didn't go there. I went to the Goodwill and then the Salvation Army, then the other Goodwill. I went to a Dollar General 
uh, Dollar Tree didn't have anything out there. And then I went to FYE, but I'll show that in a different video. So this this particular Salvation Army usually just has nothing or very little of it when it comes to physical media other than books. Um, they actually had a little bit of media today. So I picked up four titles. Um, so the, this, this particular Blu-ray was actually in this case, so I already took it out and I put it in a regular Blu-ray case. Uh, and that is uh, an image release from 2007. But I thought this, this movie was older than that. Uh, anyway, I think it is older than that. Maybe not. Uh, I got Before the Devil, but Before the Devil Knows You're Dead with uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Ethan Hawke, Marissa Tomei, and Albert Finney. This is directed by Sidney Lumet. Uh, I've heard of this film, I've seen it around many times, usually on DVD, but I went ahead and picked this up. I believe they only charged me, I think Blu-rays there are $2, so I've got $2 for this one. Uh, everything else here was a dollar. Even season sets, actually, yeah, season sets were a dollar. Uh, this is this one's a sci-fi film, I believe, from 1957. Uh, it's in black and white, even though it shows it in color on the back of the of the of the artwork for some reason. This is the special letterbox edition of Kurt Newman's Kronos, Ravager of Planets. I've never heard of this film before, never seen it. It's one of, the, it's one of those old silk screen uh, DVDs they released in like the early 2000s. You can barely read it. But yeah. Let me know if you guys have seen Kronos. Uh, I have this on Blu-ray, but I think my brother wanted a copy on DVD if he doesn't have it already. Uh, at first I thought the the artwork was photocopied, but it's not. But I got the DVD version of uh, HBO series Chernobyl. Uh, like I said, it looked it looks like it's photocopied, but it's not. So I don't know. I mean, it's got the real it's got the real discs inside, so it's not. It's not if it's photocopied, whatever. At least the discs are real. That was a dollar. And then I got this one, still brand new, factory sealed. I don't know if it's worth anything. I have the movie they did from the 90s. But this is season one, volume one of The Mod Squad. Still factory sealed, even though it's been kind of ripped open. But it's still pretty much intact. This is from 1968 and 1969. It is 11, 11 and a half hours of uh, just random episodes from season one. So yeah, can't go wrong with some uh, late 60s TV. Alright, this is where it gets interesting. It hasn't been interesting already. So I went to two different Goodwills. One I usually find, I go to all the time. They usually have some decent stuff. The other one is kind of out of the way. I only go there occasionally, and I'm glad I did. But I'll share that for last. So the Goodwill that I go to normally... Uh, I thought they weren't going to be carrying uh, VHS anymore, but they actually had quite a few uh, horror titles today. Um, unfortunately, uh, some of them had mold, so I had to pass on that. But I found a copy. Um, sorry, they had, she had trouble ringing this up, so she had to re remove the, some of the tag. Um, but yeah, this is, I found a copy of the ring. This is the plastic case version. So, I thought that was a cool find. Because I saw, I saw that, I saw that spy and I was like, mine? So yeah, I thought that was a pretty awesome find. So, can't go wrong with the ring. Uh, they had quite a few Vincent Price titles, but I passed on a lot of them, like I said, because of mold. This one was pretty good, I don't, I didn't see any. Uh, this is, um... The pit and the pendulum. Now, red marked tags, I think, were 50% off. Same thing with, um, at this location, I think it was red and blue, if I'm not mistaken. 
No, it was red. I'm sorry, it was red and green. So everything I got was red except for one title it was blue. So everything here was either half off or just the one title was not. So we got Vincent Price, Vin Pitt and the Pendulum. Uh, everything else here, I got four DVDs here. Um, I don't know if my brother had this or not. It does have Vincent Price in it, along with Angela Lansbury, Gene Kelly, uh, Lana Turner, June Allison. This is from 1948. It is in color. Uh, that is Three Musketeers. This is a Warner Brothers release, as you can see. Uh, there's no insert or anything, but the desk was pretty pretty minty, so I'd rather pick that up for 99 cents. No, 199. Okay, this other one here, this is a film from, uh, I guess it's 2004 maybe, that's what it says. Starring Lucas Black, Peter Coyote, Michael Ironside, and that is a film called Deep Water. This was 99 cents. This is a drama thriller uh, about um, basically it's, I'll, I'll tell you what, it's a <laughs> twisted tale about manipulation, adultery, and murder. So if you guys like, well, I don't want to say if you guys like adultery because that's, that's not right, but if you guys like films involving murder and twists and turns, like like myself, I was intrigued by it. So if you guys seen it, let me know. Deep Water, 2004. Next up is a Brad Pitt film. I don't think it's from 2002. It looks older, but it could be from 2002. It's got Ricky Schroeder in it as well. And that is Across the Tracks. Also, 99 cents. Um... Uh, yeah, I don't really know much about this film other than it's about, it says it's very inspirational. Uh, it says that Brad Pitt is really good in this film, so I picked it up. It is a fast-paced emotional story of sibling rivalry where a family learns that life is about making choices and standing by them. So, we shall see. This is put out by First Look Home Entertainment. I'm not familiar with that label. But 97 minutes. And then I think I had I think I had this a while back on in a snapper case. This is the Warner Archive collection version with special features that the other one probably didn't have. Uh, it stars Freddie Prince Jr., Jessica Beale, Matthew Lillard, Bruce Davison, Brian Dennehy. Brittany Murphy, Fred Ward, did I say Fred Ward? No, okay. Stacked cast here. Uh, and this is Summer Catch. Now it says it was $3.99. I don't know why they did that. Maybe because they know about the Warner Archive thing. I don't know, but it's actually, it actually rang up half price. So it was uh, $1.99. So figured I'd pay $1.99 for this, but yeah. It is, of course, it's burn on. It's a burn on demand disc. It's got a couple fingerprints and a hair on it, but other than that, it's good. Summer catch. This is from two thousand one. All right. So the last Goodwill I went to today, um, like I said, I'm happy I went in there. I almost missed the one that I'm really happy I found. Um, I don't usually collect clamshell VHS because it takes up too much space for me, but when it comes to goosebumps, I have to pick them up. Uh, so I picked up the one that everybody probably has or had in their collection at one point in their lives. Got the haunted mask here. It was, I think theirs, their colors were blue and red. I think the, no, no, they're, they're not in the same town, so they were different colors, but this one was 50 cents, so I picked it up. It's a little, it's a little on the dusty side, but, but the, the, the tape was pretty intact and no mold or anything, so I figured I'd add it to my collection of VHS. Uh, 
got this from my mom. I don't know if she has this one. I thought it was a cool find. It was only, I think it was only $2. I think it was on sale. Um, she's a big Stephen King fan. She loves audiobooks, especially when she drives down to the beach on her vacations. So I picked up a copy of Carrie, um, uh, read by Sissy Spacek. So I thought that was pretty cool. And also has an introduction from Stephen King. So she, I don't think she has this one. If she does, that's fine. I can sell it or whatever, but I think she has, she might not have this one. All right, so next up is a horror film from 2012 that I've seen before, but it's been a while. And the disc seemed to be okay. Uh, it's got a little, little minor scratches on it, but I've been looking for a copy of it. It does have a Blu-ray, but it's kind of like, you know, hard to find. It doesn't go for a whole lot, but it, for a little bit of money. But uh, this is a David Lee Madison film uh, starring Jeff, uh, Stephen Jeffries, Steve Dash, and Jessica Cameron, uh, Mr. Hush. I've seen this film before. I don't really remember if I enjoyed it that much or not. I have to go back and watch it again. But I will definitely check this one out again and let you guys know if it's any good. All right, I got two more here and they go hand in hand because they're both related. I don't know if I should do the one that I was really excited to find. These were both half off, which made it an even sweeter deal. Uh, I know, I know these, I think, I know the this one has a Blu-ray because it just came out with the complete series. The other series that they did, I don't remember if it's on Blu-ray or not, but, um, but they go hand in hand, so I found both of these. Uh, Our Gang Collection Warner Archive 5 disc set, originally $5.99, I got it for $3.00. And then Little Rascals Complete Edition 88 Classic Films for three fifty. So they go hand in hand. Love and Disc set right here. Love I I, I can't get enough of that. I used to watch this a lot when I was a kid. Especially Little Rascals. I wasn't really a, really into our gang at that time. But uh yeah. Thought that was pretty cool find. So yeah, all all five discs are here. They're all burnt on demand for this company, like I said before. And then this little rascals collection, they are stacked discs, but I checked all six of them and they were fine. So so that's everything I found in the thrift stores today. 22 titles I don't really want to uh, I guess I'll do this the stack even though it's heavy and, and really not not organized whatsoever but here's my stack so let me know if you guys enjoyed any of these if you enjoyed them like I said or if you're interested in trying to find them yourselves let me know I will see you guys probably tomorrow because I got other stuff I have to share with you guys um, I'm going to start doing a couple of different videos here and there as well, not just at home. I'm, I, I like to, sh I want to shoot footage actually in the stores. I know all the whole, you know, music thing where, you know, people are playing loud music. That's, that is a problem, but, uh, probably going to start editing videos. Maybe I will have to look into that. But, uh, other than that, just look forward to more, to more, um, physical media goodness for me and i'll see you guys tomorrow take care